Now, we want to make David faster. All right, we want to try and, um, when he's running, he's obviously lifting his legs. If he doesn't have a great range of movement in his hips, he can't lift his knees very high. It means he's not getting enough force, action reactive force on the ground there. It's not propelling him very far. If we can get his um, hamstring longer, it means he can lift his legs higher and he can push down on the ground with more force, propel him um, faster forward. All right, fade away, dear. Please, just pull it away, just try and focus. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna put his hamstring under an incredible amount of overload. We're gonna push it beyond its limits. His hamstring's gonna adapt and change, and then we're gonna progress it. Now all these, all these principles of training that we talk about, progression, overload, adaption, specificity, recovery, um, intensity, they all apply for every method of training, whether it be continuous training, resistance training, or stretching. We're still using the same terms. All right, so I'll talk in those terms, principles of training, and when you're writing, you use those terms. That's the language that we use, the principles of training. So, I'm gonna work on that hamstring, I want you to lie back. All right, first of all, oh no, no, that's fine. Yeah, we'll do this from here. Keep your bum on the ground. All right, keep your knees straight. And you tell me when, when you feel overload, okay? You feel overload in your hamstring yet? Tell me when. Now, okay, you feel overload? Now, I want you to push against me. Yeah, that's it, and we're gonna hold that for 10 seconds. It's sore? Yeah. Good, we're getting overload. Good, isn't it? We like overload, because overload means adaption. <laughs> Our body doesn't like being put under stress. Okay, we hold there for 15 seconds, and now we're gonna relax. Recovery. All right, a little bit of recovery. Now, we saw the angle, eh? it was about there. Okay, just, just hear me out, please. The angle was about there. It definitely wasn't horizontal, it was about there. All right, and this proves how adapt progressive overload works. All right, because now, his his hamstring will be lengthened out a touch from doing that overload. Um, so there's adaption will have occurred. All right, and now when we do it, we should be able to go back quite a bit further, I'd imagine. Look at that. Already we've got a, we've got adaption. All right, now push. That's almost horizontal now, isn't it? Keep going. We're going to hold that 15 seconds. Is it sore? <laughs> no pain, no gain, David. We want overload. Okay, relax. Right, did we see the angle of that? Yeah. So recovery. Once again, we're going to get more adaption. So how long do you hold? Fifteen seconds. We remember. We're, we're and how pushing. long's recovery? Oh, yeah. recovery might be 30, 40 seconds. All right, we just give his, his muscle a chance to establish what's going on. All right, um, allow it to adapt. And now we get we have to progress again. All right. If we did the same again, if we had the same angle again, he wouldn't feel nothing. All right. That's why we have to progress. Okay. So let's try progress again, and let's see how far back we can go now. Look at that. Look how much longer your hamstrings are. We're almost. We are horizontal now. Go. Push. Keep your bum on the ground. Sounds like a Look how much different it is. His bum's not on the ground. Okay. Look, watch this. Just as a matter of interest, let's see where he's at compared to this leg. Watch this leg. That we haven't done. We're going to go to there, eh? So stand up and just just feel how much how much more looser and how much more flexible your hip is now. Just go there and just feel the difference. Feel different. <laughs> 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 